Hey, watch enthusiasts! Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm reviewing the Lago Flieger Aachen 39 in grey after wearing it for three months. Okay, stop. I told you it's a six month review, not three months. All right? Uh, yeah, uh, sorry, uh, you're right. Uh, six months, uh, three, three, six month review. Now, before we dive into the details, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you never miss out on the latest watch content. Thanks so much. All right, let's get into it. Before buying the Slarko Flieger watch, I must admit I was not in Flieger watches at all. I found them too plain, quite boring, and also I liked the design. The ever black dials of those Flieger watches did not appeal to me as I have several watches back with black dials in my collection. Okay, IWC, the international watch company, offers different dial colors, but the price category is out of this world for me, and the case bags show World War II aircrafts. I also don't like this. So one case design did appeal to me, however. It was a Petit Prince, which I liked design-wise. Okay, being a watch nerd, I wanted a watch from a German manufacturer for some time and did some deep diving into a few German brands, such as Mühle, Normos, Stoa, Union Glashütte and Lago. Basically, all the ones that I can afford leaving alone Glashütte Original or Lange and Söhne. And there was one more thing I had in my mind. A new watch must be interesting, but not interesting enough to make my other stay in the watch box for long and not too expensive for daily use. In my mind, I set a price limit of around 1000 euros. Well, these thoughts alone might show that I'm turning slowly into a watch nerd. I'm not gonna be there for you. Oh, you will never all in all, you see quite a few requirements for a new watch. You may know the search process of a watch enthusiast. I watched tons of reviews, read lots of articles and spent hours on forums of which I'm a kind of a specialist to do. For this, see my other review, finding my perfect 40th birthday watch, and you know what I mean. Okay, back to the watch. It took a few weeks before I made my mind, and so I stumbled upon Lago. Yeah, you know, Lark was one of the five original Flieger manufacturers. So, why I chose the Lark amongst a huge selection of brands and offers, and why I picked the one from Lark's basic collection, I'm going to tell you in this review. Look at this beauty. The Lark Flieger Aachen 39mm in grey is a real eye-catcher. The design pays homage to classic aviation watches and it's got that perfect blend of vintage charm and modern appeal. So this particular model stems from 2023, so from last year. The Laco Basic Watches is a line that consists of affordable Flieger style watches that uh, carry the basic Flieger watch DNA with kind of modernized case design, particularly rounded wrist friendly lugs and which come with Miyota movements, so automatic only. Available sizes are 39 and 42. On the other hand, the original Flieger line comes with straight lugs and gray matte surface to avoid reflections in the cockpit, as well as a Swiss movement Celita SW200-1 in Elaboré or top version. In the original line, also 45mm die sizes are available along with 39 and 42. Now let's talk specs. The case is a modest 39mm, making it incredible versatile for a variety of wrist sizes. The luck to luck is 46.5, so perfect for my 6.5 inch wrist. The bandwidth is 80mm. I feel very comfortable with the 39mm size. Yes, I would go so far as to say that is an arm flatterer. The grey dial is just stunning. It's got this flat colored effect which is so different from ordinary black dials. The hand 
and markers are coated with Superluminova, ensuring excellent readability in low light conditions. And speaking of low light, the loom on this watch is just fantastic. It's like having a tiny galaxy on your wrist, really. So here you see a loom shot. It is even better than my Seiko 5 Sports. The case is made of stainless steel, giving it a robust feel without being overly heavy. Now I know some of you like to know the nitty gritty details, so here we go. It's got a water resistance of 50 meters with a push-pull crown. A sapphire crystal, but no AR coating. AR coating on the inner and outer side adds a 50 euros when you order this watch. And a reliable Miyota movement at the 82SO ticking away inside. So sorry, that's a little smudge. So you see, I'm constantly wearing this watch. And the movement can be upgraded as well to the Miyota 8315 for another 55 euros. Is it worth it? I do not know. You're getting more power reserve and it's more accurate at least. So what about accuracy of this Miyota movement? I measured the accuracy of the movement for over a week. Three seconds per day while wearing the watch and minus three seconds while the watch is placed on its side. So yeah, I think it's pretty good. What do you think? Write it down in the comments, please. So let's take a closer look at the details. The crown is oversized and it's easy to grip, giving you that satisfying feeling when you wind the watch. Let's test the winding sound. So the case back is open, you can see the movement, but it's not authentic, of course. It is the first watch I own with a leather band. Um, before that I had plastic, NATO or steel bracelets. So the leather strap is a bit smaller side, feels incredibly soft and comfortable on the wrist. It is stiff in the beginning, but um, it adapted very quickly to my arm. So yeah. By the way, I helped the process by pressing the watch head and clasp together. Yeah. I will show you what I did. Basically this thing here. I press this and if, yeah, and after a few times fasten this process of fit. Yeah, and the leather it smells very good. It's a typical leather odor, so yeah, I'm pretty satisfied with this leather bed. But let's not get bogged down by the technical stuff. Let me tell you a little story. Imagine this. You are in a vintage airplane soaring through the clouds, the sun setting on the horizon. The Lark of Flieger Aachen on your wrist, a testament to the golden age of aviation. It's not just a watch, it's a time machine that transports you to a different era. And you know, that's the thing about watches. They're not just accessories. They are stories waiting to be told. This Lagerflieger, with its history rooted in World War II pilot watches, is a conversation starter. And a thing which not everybody likes, obviously. But imagine the stories it could tell if it had a voice of its own. I guess it wouldn't be full of adventure, but also really scary, depending on the missions the pilots had to accomplish. Now, today, make it your story. What's going on in your life? This watch is on your wrist as companion. So, make the story of your own. Get scratches. By the way, I got a really hard thing here, but that's another story. And yeah, I will show you some pictures because I hit really hard when I did not see a glass door being in my way. And yeah, this watch protected my arm and obviously my nose and head. Now guys, let's address some of the concerns. Some folks out there might be disappointed with the size of the leather band. It's on the shorter side in terms of width with 80 mm, making it a bit tiny looking compared to the watch head. And for those with larger wrists. And yes, there's no denying that the sapphire crystal lacks AR coating. 
which means it can be prone to reflection in certain lights, as you can see here. You can remedy this investing another 50 euros for anti-reflect coating on the inner and outer side of the crystal. And lastly, the Miyota movement. While reliable, might not satisfy the hardcore watch enthusiasts looking for an in-house caliber or Swiss or German movement. At least the Miyota movement built by Citizen is pretty reliable. It's a workhorse. So for this price category, I think it's fine. But here's the thing. Every watch has its quirks. It's all about finding the one that resonates with you. If you like this watch, yeah, try it out, buy it and see if you like it. And yeah, just can you give some recommendations and some learnings about this watch at this point of time after having this one six months. I've been wearing this watch for three months now. Maybe you have watched my unboxing and my over-the-top excitement. Here it is. Wow. How cool is this? Wow. Great. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I'm gonna like it. Oh, yes. And let me tell you, I've kind of fallen in love with its character. Sure, the leather band is a bit snug, but it's broken in nicely molding to my wrist. The lack of AR coating on the crystal hasn't bothered me much in everyday wear and the Miota movement has proven to be accurate and dependable. Minor 3, 2 plus 4 seconds per day is almost within chronometer specs. So what else do you want? In my case, I want that sleep bracelet for summer wearing. Wearing a leather band during summer months is not a good idea and it would change the watch's character quite a bit. I think would make it even more sporty and takes away from the Flieger style. The rotor is louder than usual, but that not but not that bad as some people report it in other reviews. So I don't mind. Yeah, and again, I've got a mark in the case here. So this watch saved me when I ran into a glass door, which I had not seen. And the watch was faster than me and thanks to the sound, I noticed a door before I would have hit my head and face. And that wouldn't have been fun, I can tell you. In conclusion, the Lago Flieger Arken 39mm in grey is a true gem in the world of aviation-inspired watches. It's got personality, history and a design that's sure to turn heads. Sure, it's not perfect, but then again, what watch is? It's about finding the one that speaks to you. And this Lago Flieger watch helps me to appreciate more affordable watches with a good feeling to support a German family-owned company and not the usual Swiss or French conglomerates. I guess I shouldn't have said this for future reviews, <laughs> but anyhow, it's my opinion. If you're into aviation history, if you appreciate a watch that tells a story, the Lago Flieger R might be just the perfect addition to your collection. And I'm thoroughly enjoying my time with it, and I think you will too. So, what are your thoughts on the Lago Flieger Aachen 39mm Grey? Is it a watch you would like to own? Do you own this one? What's your experience? And is the grey dial a color you would pick during the summer months? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it. Please hit the subscription button and until next time, keep enjoying the timeless journey of watches. Thanks for watching and I catch you in the next one. Bye! Ah, and by the way, maybe you have seen that I have a thumb pen here. It's a Faber Castell Ambition, a really nice one. And if you're interested in a review, just check reviews on my channel. I'm also reviewing thumb pens. And uh, yeah, maybe you are interested in thumb pens or you will turn into a thumb pen enthusiast like me. Yeah, see you on my channel. Bye.